82-year-old Xu Liao isn't your average senior citizen. For one, he's still working and with painstaking attention to detail despite his poor sight. For more than 26 years, he's been mapping Beijing's vanishing hutongs by hand, drawing every alley and house, down or most, to the last nook and cranny. I was born in Beijing. I believe hutongs are important, filled with culture and history, so much history. I thought about it for a while, then I decided to document them. After I stopped working, I didn't retire. I get up every day, no later than 5 a.m., to go out to the hutongs and record them. It took Xu, a former train driver, 15 years to draw the rough sketches of the hutongs in these books, which he recorded step by step as he walked through them. It took him another eight years to put them onto this map, an effort to preserve his city's past. Time wasn't the only challenge. Once, he says, he was mistaken for a robber and held by police. China's rapid growth and urbanization are transforming its landscape. As new buildings grow bigger and taller, traditional areas like this are becoming increasingly rare. In recent decades, hundreds of hutongs in Beijing have been totally destroyed. Many more are only just standing, barely surviving between the skyscrapers. According to one survey of more than 1,300 hutongs in 2006, just one-third of Beijing's original hutongs still exist. It says 15 percent were totally demolished, while 52 percent were severely damaged, meaning some only have a few houses left. Residents of this hutong say their neighborhood is now much smaller. I was born in this hutong. I've lived here 50 years. This place has changed a great deal. Across the street was once another hutong. Now it's an international finance center. For Xu, changes like this make capturing hutongs on paper and in photographs even more important. I record hutongs because while I can't control whether or not they're destroyed, I can at least record them for future generations to let them see what it was like. As urbanization gains further steam, the permanence of these small and aging streets is likely to be tested even more. But with Xu's decades of dedication, their fate may be harder to ignore. Grace Brown, CCTV. Beijing.